discovery goes into this big auger all the same day, so it's still fresh, not stinky. And um, it get, comes out on the other end looking like hamburger, and then it goes into these tanks with these huge high-powered pumps, and it gets liquefied within 24 hours, so the natural enzymes in the fish break it down into uh, liquid. And that's where hy hydrolyzed comes. That's why we're a hydrolyzed fish and not a fish emulsion. Hydrolyzed just means you're taking enzymes, and you're taking a solid and breaking it down into a liquid with enzymes. So the natural enzymes in the fish, and the high-powered pumps liquefy it, and then we stabilize it with just enough phosphoric acid to bring the pH down to 3.5, which keeps it stable so it has an indefinite shelf life um, until you add water and bring the pH back up to use it. And it's approved organic by OMRI, Organic Materials Review Institute. They allow just enough phosphoric acid as long as you don't use enough to fortify it. You just stabilize it. It's approved organic. And, you know, it's a mind thing anyway. It's not bad. It's in Coke and Pepsi. It's fairly safe. So that's our stabilizer. And then we screen it through several screening processes. And it, um, the final screening is a 150 micron. It looks like cloth. It's so fine. So it comes out looking like chocolate milk. And it's a perfect fertilizer because in the ocean and in fish, you've got your macronutrients, which is your nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, and that's your NPK. All fertilizers are sold by those three numbers. And um, it's a 241 NPK, but it also has micronutrients, trace elements, amino acids, vitamins, enzymes, minerals, growth hormones that are naturally in fish that make fish grow. And then you've got your omega oils, omega 3, 6, 9. So you're literally giving the plant everything it could possibly need in the perfect balance. And nature did it for us. We don't have to go to a lab and figure all this out. I mean, this is all the nutrients you need. The whole world was under ocean water at one time. They found fish fossils on the top of Mount Everest. So ever since then, it's kind of been demineralizing. So you get these products from the ocean into your garden, you're going to have the healthiest soil with good organic matter. Not only does it really increase the yield, but it increases the nutritional value because you're giving it all these vitamins and minerals. So it raises um, the relative feed value and the total digestible nutrients and makes very nutrient-dense food. And if you have animals that eat pasture or anything, it makes a really nutrient-dense food for the animals and makes them very healthy and calm. And if you're getting the good minerals in your food, you're going to eat less, just like the cattle eat less when they eat the hay fertilized with our product. You're going to eat less and you're going to be a lot healthier and calmer. I mean, everything it does for the cattle, it does for, the, for humans too. You know, it makes us calmer, happier, more content, less antibiotics, less vet visits or doctor visits, you know? So it, it's, it really is nature's perfect source. And then, um, so we also do seaweed. It's all seaweed that's caught along uh, New England. It's done very sustainably. When the seaweed grows, you cut it. You don't pull it off. You just cut it. And, you know, say you start harvesting. This is your coastline. You start harvesting here. By the time you get to here and you come back around and start harvesting here again, it's all regrown. So you can't get more sustainable than that. It's really perfect. And the seaweed has a ton of trace minerals. So that is really good for plants, uh, the root system, things like that. So then expanding that theme, we started with the crab shell and the lobster shell. So another byproduct from the seafood industry, allowing us to utilize 100% and not throw away anything. This is going to landfills right now. Waste management takes a ton of this away. So we're um, trying to utilize as much as we can of this. And it's just ground up lobster and uh, crab shell. It's got 23% calcium, 1.3 magnesium. Um, it's got to 230 NPK but it's got something called chitin in it. And chitin is um, it's good for medicinal things. They make medicine out of it too, but it's also good. Um, it's, it'll build the chitin-eating bacteria in the soil, and then anything that's chitin-based in structure is gonna get eaten. So grubs are chitin-based in structure, ants, fungus, uh, root nematodes. Um, so it's got all those benefits. Then if you put it on top of the soil, slugs can't crawl crawl over because it'll cut them so it'll get rid of slugs. Um, weeds hate cal calcium, so if you have a lot of weeds, it's usually poor soil and low calcium. So this being 23% calcium really helps choke out the weeds. So not only are you getting your fertilizer benefit, you're also getting the properties that the chitin gives and the weed suppressant. So fantastic for tilling in the soil. These big chunks, if you till it deep into your soil, the roots will actually reach for them and wrap around them for a food source. So you're driving your roots deeper. The deeper and thicker your root zone, the more yield you're going to have on top. Um, so then you've got your, um, this is ground up dry seaweed. We sell seaweed liquid, and we sell it in this dry kelp meal form. 
This is a um, 102 NPK, and it doubles in size when it gets wet. It beads up like a polymer, so it really retains moisture in the soil, and it um, builds organic matter in the soil. And between the two, it really aerates the soil. This NPK being a, um, a 230, and then you've got your uh, 102. If you mix these together, you've got a 333 balanced NPK, plus all your trace minerals in the seaweed, plus your calcium, plus your chitin, plus your aerating the soil and giving the roots something to grab and then grow stronger. So these two things are great tilled in the soil before you plant. We'll take a truck full. <laughs> Um, the fish not only increases your um, yield and, and the quality, um, it also raises your bricks, and that's your sugar. So anything you grow with this is going to taste better and be more nutritious, and insects can't digest sugar. So if you have a lot of sugar in your plants, they're going to go to a weaker dying plant over a healthy plant. That's kind of nature's way of survival of the fittest, getting rid of the weaker dying plants, the insects come and eat them where the healthy, strong ones will survive and not get the insect and disease. Um, the straight liquid seaweed, if you spray it on the um, foliage, if you have any powdery mildew problems at all, it'll wipe it out like that. You'll get rid of your powdery mildew. It's really fantastic for that. I've seen zucchini plants wilting and look like they're ready to die and you just wipe with powdery mildew and you come out and spray them and the next day they're all happy and perky. And, that's, oh, that's the seaweed bed. That's the straight liquid seaweed. We'll do that. Yep. So this is our probably number one seller by far. It's the fish and seaweed blend. It's 75% fish, 25% seaweed. So you're getting the best of both in one product. Um, we put more fish because that's where all your nutrients are, and then you've got the benefits of the seaweed all in one. It's one ounce per gallon of water. Um, so this actually is a 36 ounce bottle. So this will make 36 gallons of fertilizer. <laughs>